Hi, in this video, I'll share three simple tricks to present your medical slides better, especially the slides that have images. I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. The first trick is to reveal your information in stages. Most of the image-based slides in medical presentations look like this. As you can see, all the information is presented in one go, which can cause audience overwhelm. If you take just a few moments to add relevant custom animation, you can present your slides like this. Today, let's discuss lobes of the brain. On a click, I introduce frontal lobe, give my explanation. Then on a click, I introduce parietal lobe, give explanation, click, occipital lobe explanation, temporal lobe explanation, cerebellum explanation, and finally, I introduce cingulate gyrus. As you just noticed, I introduced one topic at a time, gave enough time for the audience to understand just that portion, and then I moved to the next one on a click. That is the power of using simple custom animation to present your images like a pro. Now the question is, why do medical professionals use images like this? Why don't they use custom animation? And that is because normally presenters click on the image they want to pick up, right click and go to copy image option and then go to their slides and then paste it like this. And when they do, they only get a PNG image like this. All you need to do is to take a moment and see if you have an SVG file of the same image available from where you are sourcing the image. If available, then you can go to open in media viewer and then download the original file. Can you see here, download this file and here you will get the option for SVG image as well. You just click on that to download. You will get this kind of SVG image. You just copy and then paste the SVG image. Prima facie, PNG and SVG images look the same. But then the benefit of using an SVG image is you can right click and go to convert to shape option in PowerPoint especially when you use the recent versions of PowerPoint. When you choose that option, this is how the image breaks down. Now I can just take the portions that I want and then group them the way that I want. For example, here I have taken the text here and grouped it as one element. And then I have this element available separately, which is nothing but the shape fill option. Then I can select this, go to animations and say fade. And then I can have this appear maybe like say wipe from right. And then I can make this as after previous. Now, when I go to slideshow, you can see that there is no fill here. On a click, I can show the fill and then present the corresponding explanation. Can you see it makes the information so much easier for the audience to process. So whenever possible, try and use SVG images, ungroup them, and then apply custom animation to reveal your information in stages. Now, what do you do if you don't have SVG images? Do you still have the option of presenting your information in stages? Yes, you have. I've already created a video on how to do that. This is a very useful video, especially for medical professionals. It's called Creative PowerPoint Animation Trick Spotlight Labels. I will leave a link to this video in the description box below the video. You can click on the link and watch this trick so you can present your image-based slides with custom animation. The next useful trick is to use easy to read labels for your images. Most of the image based slides that I see in medical presentations look like this. As you can see, the parts are labeled with numbers like this, and then the relevant information is given as a legend like this. So the audience needs to go here and then say, okay, one represents cranial activity and say if they want to know what C represents, they need to go back here and then search for the information and then they can say, okay, this is plural cavity. So like that, they need to decipher every single number by going back and forth from the image and the legend like this and that definitely tires them out. Now, I totally understand why most presenters employ this method. One, many of the times the images are just scanned from textbooks and they have legends available separately. So they stick the images to one side and then the legends to the other side and they create slides like this. Even if you go to sites like commons.wikimedia.org, you have the image available separately and the corresponding legends available separately. So it is quite easy for you to just stick this image onto one side and then copy this legend onto the other side. But then if you want your audience to understand your information easily, you need to place your labels right next to the image. Take a look at how much of a difference it makes. Now, as a member in the audience, I don't really have to go back and forth between image and the legend. I can have the information available right where I need it. 
Now, it doesn't really require too much of an effort. Let me show you how easy it is. It is still the same image. I can copy and then maybe I can go to a new slide so I can show you how it is done. Let me paste it somewhere over here. I know that the first one represents cranial cavity. So I just need to go here and then write cranial cavity and then fill it with white colored shape. Go to shape outline and say no outline and increase the font size. So you can place this label right on top of the number. And now all of a sudden, this is so much easier than going back and forth. You just repeat the same process and you will end up with a better slide like this. The third trick is to take the same idea to the next level by adding trigger animation to those labels to create an interactive quiz. For example, this is the image with the labels and this is the same image converted into an interactive quiz using custom animation. Here, the labels will be revealed on the click of the corresponding numbers. So I can pick up one of the audience members and ask them to name number three. And then I can click on number three and reveal whether the answer is right or not. Then I can pick up another person and ask for number six and then I can reveal information like this. It's so easy to do this and it will really engage your audience. Let me show you how easy it is to make one of these labels. First, I cover this with a white rectangle. So let me go to home, go to Auto Shapes Gallery and pick up the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle large enough to cover whatever label that you've got there. Go to shape fill and fill it with white color and let me add a black outline and now this can be made to vanish on the click of a button so i'm going to create a button once again it is nothing but a simple shape let me go to auto shapes gallery pick up the oval tool hold the shift button and create a circle like this which will serve as our button i can write number one here you can of course make it much thicker so it is more interesting for the audience to look at and then I can add some kind of a preset to make it even more interesting like say the second preset. And then the next step is very crucial. You need to give this a proper name so it is much easier for you to create the trigger animation. For that you go to the home tab, go to select and go to selection pane and here it is given a default name of oval 3. You just need to click on it and then give it the number. Like say in this case it is number 1. So I have written as number 1, now it is renamed. Now this simple thing will help us animate this information far better. Let me select this, go to animations and add a simple fade out animation by going to exit and fade. So this cover just fades out, but this happens on the click of this button. So how do we do that? You select that piece that you want to animate, go to trigger in the same animations pane and then say on click off and here we have already named this one as number one. So let me click on one and which means that only on clicking this, this will vanish. So let me go to slideshow. On the click of this button, this label will fade out. Can you see here? It is very easy to create this kind of an interactive animation and it will definitely make your slides far more engaging for your audience. If you want to learn more ideas like this, then I highly recommend that you sign up for our free five part mini training called how to present your medical slides better. In that free mini training, I share some simple tricks that you can apply in your next presentation and make your audience really appreciate your information. And when you're ready and you want to take your presentations to the next level, you can consider getting our medical presentations templates bundle. This is a collection of more than 900 plus medical PowerPoint templates. Plus, I also give you four step neuro slide design training as part of this medical presentations bundle. So you learn how to engage your audience when you present your medical slides. You will learn simple and practical tricks to create your medical slides like a pro. There are numerous examples of slide makeovers of real life medical slides so you can understand the process in a hands-on fashion. I will leave a link to this product in the description box below the video as well. You can click on the link and check out more details about this. And finally, I recommend you to go to our Presentation Process YouTube channel and click on this playlist called Tips to Make Complex Medical Slides More Interesting and watch all these free videos and enhance your medical slide presentations. I'll see you in the next video.